My name's Dr. Andrew Daniel. I live in a city called Hereford in the UK, and I'm a maths teacher and a dean with Crimson Global Academy. My main hobby is uh, hill walking, the great outdoors. So I've got a, a super dog and he and I love climbing mountains together. I got into teaching because I knew I enjoyed mathematics so much I wanted to, uh, to work on it for the rest of my career. I thought CGA was doing something really exciting, taking state-of-the-art technology into the classroom for the first time ever really, to create amazing opportunities to rethink how we teach, particularly for a subject like mathematics. So this is why I thought CGA was doing something really quite special, groundbreaking in the world of education, the combination of technology and using technology to open up that education to students anywhere in the world. Essentially everything that teachers do in a bricks and mortar lesson in a traditional school, we can do in an online classroom. So we can check in on individual students, see how they're working, give them support if they're getting stuck on something. We can teach, explain the materials in the same way that we do in a bricks and mortar school. Actually, because the technology is easier to embed in an online classroom, I think many of the aspects of the teacher explaining concepts are even more effective in an online classroom than in a bricks and mortar school. So a good on online lesson will be really interactive. Lots of question and answer, lots of group work. We've really found that group work is very effective with online learning. Uh, and some of the staff at CGA who are so expert at educational technology have developed incredible ways of using technology to, to drive this interaction, which we think is so important in the lesson. I also meet students individually, regularly, to discuss any concerns or any support that they need. And I'm a point of contact for parents, so I'll have regular contact with parents uh, to make sure parents are comfortable with everything that's happening for their, their children while they're at CGA. I think online learning can be successful for, for students with a very wide range of different learning styles. We use a wide range of educational technology to support the teaching and learning that we do. I mean, one important area, for example, is holding data on the progress that students make, assessment data, and obviously we can then use that data to work out whether students need extra support in a particular area. On the teaching side, we also use a wide range of apps. Each academic subject at Crimson Global Academy will have half a dozen specialist pieces of software that they use specifically for their subject in order to um, make sure the teaching is fully supported by technology. One of the great things about Crimson Global Academy is that class sizes are really small. You know, class sizes might be eight or 10, for example, and that's so helpful for teachers because one of the things we try and do within the online classroom is give lots of individual support to students. What I think is really interesting about CGA is the skills and expertise of the teachers and the technical staff at CGA mean that CGA can drive some of this innovation that really has to happen uh, globally in terms of education. Online lessons are really interactive, great students from around the world working together to solve problems, supported by expert teachers. I would recommend CGA for a very wide range of students. I think online learning suits students from all sorts of different backgrounds and with all sorts of different learning styles. It's certainly really important that all students who engage in online learning are willing to be interactive in lessons, to get involved, asking questions and answering questions. But students with all sorts of learning styles who, who, who enjoy technology can do really well at CGA. And so what I would say to students is whatever your background, have a look and um, I'm sure you'll find a way to enjoy the school.